So what's happened to emerging markets since Russia invade, invaded Ukraine at the end of February? First and foremost, oil has skyrocketed from roughly $80 to $120. It's now settled at about $100, and we think it's going to remain there. Number two, the number of commodity prices have followed. Ukraine and Russia are large producers of metals, grains, wheat, and others. That will be an issue in emerging markets. Number three, the cost of investing in a number of emerging markets has gone up. The equity risk premium, the political risk, has become an issue. In other words, we're looking for a higher return to offset the higher risk. One of the things that really worries me, however, is how the world is starting to look at China and India and other large emerging markets. We're having to make decisions on geopolitical relationships, which are becoming murkier, harder to define. We're worried about China's relationship with, China, with Russia, not just potentially as a military ally, but we're worried about their trade with Russia. We're worried about political involvement in alliances. Interestingly, India's in a similar place. India has indeed traded a lot with Russia for weapons and military elements, military equipment. But it goes beyond that, and India does have a very strong relationship with Russia. I worry about that. Globalization has been pulled back in the last 10, 15 years. The positive impacts of globalization, broader wealth creation, global growth, is at risk. I am a firm believer that globalization is good not just for the emerging markets, but also for developed markets.